Hi guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks. We are in downtown Taipei at the HTC One E8 launch event, and we would love to do a quick comparison of the new HTC One E8 and the Samsung Galaxy S5 because um, these are definitely phones that are comparable because they are also based on exactly the same SoC, which is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 801. So this is a quad-core SoC clocked at 2.5 gigahertz in the HTC One and Eight, almost the same. Well, the same one as the Samsung Galaxy S5. Both of them are sporting two gigabytes of RAM, and um, this comes with 16 gigabytes of internal storage. While we have different versions of the Samsung Galaxy S5, starting with 16 gigabyte, there's also 32 gigabyte. I'm not sure, is there even a 64 gigabyte? Well, you know what, I think so, yeah. But actually, it doesn't really matter because you can upgrade both devices with a micro SD card. When it comes to the cameras, the front-facing cameras here on the HTC One E8 sports five megapixel, while the Samsung Galaxy S5 only has two megapixel. On the back, we have a 16 megapixel camera here on the Samsung Galaxy S5 and a 13 megapixel camera on the HTC One E8. When it comes to the rate, they're exactly the same. Both of them are at 145 grams, but as you can tell, um, here, when it comes to the thickness, a little bit different. The HTC One E8 is at 9.85 millimeters, while the Samsung Galaxy S5 is at 8.1 millimeters. Besides that, I'm pretty sure when you compare the prices right now, because I mean the Samsung Galaxy S5 dropped significantly in its price, um, the HTC One E8 might be very, very competitive, might be even less expensive than the Samsung. Of course, it's also using different materials. Yes, we have this kind of fake or fox leather on the Samsung Galaxy S5, while the HTC One E8 is also just using plastic. In my opinion, the biggest um, difference and uh, the coolest difference is, of course, you have the HTC One or the HTC Boom Sound on the HTC One E8. That means you're getting front-facing speakers. Uh, you don't have anything like this on the Samsung Galaxy S5. So if you're interested in a new phone, right, and you might consider the Samsung Galaxy S5, maybe you want to wait until the HTC One E8 is available in your country. At least get a little bit of hands-on time with it, because I think this is a really, really cool uh, device. Of course, by the way, um, both of them are sporting 1080p displays. So this is a quick comparison of the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the HTC One E8 and social for Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching.